Professor Sutter, at the moment you do research on credence goods. Medicines are goods like that because the buyer neither before nor after the purchase knows exactly what he needs. What is problematic about that in detail? So, credence goods markets are characterized by an informational asymmetry between the expert sellers and the buyers. More precisely, that means that the expert sellers know better what the buyer really needs than the buyer him or herself. And this is even true after the credence good has been provided. And this is very crucial. Because this informational asymmetry triggers three main types of problems. The first one is overtreatment. You as a customer can get too much. You bring your car to the repair and the motor block has changed instead of the filter being cleaned. Overcharging. You bring your car to the repair and suddenly on the bill you see five hours of working time, although they only needed two hours. Since people are typically not present during these repairs, this can happen. Third one, under treatment. You get some repair, you do get the bill also, but the problem is not solved. And all of these three types of problems are due to this informational asymmetry because the seller can exploit the buyer to the advantage of the seller. Okay, so you created an undercover filed experiment in which manipulated computers were brought to several repair shops in Austria. Um, could you shortly explain the cause of action? So the general procedure was as follows. We bought a new computer and damaged it by manipulating the random access module, which basically means you cannot start the computer. So uh, if you open it up, then uh, an error message appears and every expert seller must know what to do, right? So what we did is then have two different randomly assigned conditions. The first condition, we brought the computer to the shop, explained the problem. At the end of the conversation, we said, and by the way, we need the bill, which basically says there is no tax evasion going on, official transaction. In the other treatment, everything was the same except for the final sentence where we said, by the way, we need a bill for an insurance. And these three words was the only, were the only difference and that had a huge impact. So what are the main findings of the experiment? So the average uh, cost for the repair is 70 euros without mentioning insurance and this increases to 130 euros with insurance being mentioned. And that's an 80% increase or 60 euros. So by inspecting the computers, we can now disentangle what's the source of this increased bill. So about one third, about 20 euros, are due to overprovision. That means the shops do too much, like changing the keyboard instead of simply uh, replacing the random access module. And about two thirds is due to overcharging and working time by writing about one half hour more on the bill for charging than what has actually been needed. And um, what does this behavior mean for the efficient working of the economy? So these markets, obviously, given the informational asymmetries, generate inefficiencies because overtreatment is simply a waste of resources, right? You don't need it, they do it, no one cares about it, but you have to build. And this basically leads to the situation that these markets have inflated prices because there is a waste of resources and there is also a transfer of resources from the buyers to the expert sellers because they can exploit their informational advantage.